Hey guys, how you doing? Um, today is October twenty five Friday. Um, very disappointed about Boeing, right? Very disappointed, right? After pandemic, so many accidents, technical problems, right? A lot of technical problems, and then for the um quarter result, that is um totally disastrous, right? Once Boeing and Airbus been the legend. Been a legend, but now Boeing falls already. Um, a lot of people is um discussing on will Boeing goes bankrupt. I don't think so. I don't think she will go bankrupt, but will be very very weak for quite a long time. So today we will um quickly go through the financial report just issued right. So Boeing. Once the legend is over, right? Over already. Okay, then our Falcon portfolio, right? This week, um, Dow Jones has been very weak, dropped at more than a thousand points. Then we down to, but just one to two percent, right? One one seven percent, right? Okay, then for anyone, then you can leave your message under the YouTube, or you can directly email to me by US Stock Market Weekly at Gmail dot com. This is our cover, right? Boeing, the legend is over. Yesterday, Dow Jones further down, right? But not as four hundred points as on Wednesday, right? Further down one hundred and forty points. Then now is our closing is forty two thousand three hundred and seventy four. I'm much better for Nasdaq, right? Rise up again. Rise for one hundred and thirty-eight points, and the close market is eighteen thousand four hundred and fifteen. Our Falcon three hundred and fifty thousand portfolio been um down one percent, one or two percent, right? Now is one hundred and seventeen percent. We go for some. Headlines first. This is not for Boeing, right? This is for um major airlines. I've been reported this in our Hong Kong channel, right? Um, one week before. Um, major airlines are cutting the service to China. Two reasons. First reason, where we weak demand in and out of China from foreigners. Where we weak demand, and then. Because of the Russia, China can fly over Russia to、um, Europe, but Europe cannot. Euro airlines has to avoid that that airspace. Then she will take a much longer flight journey and more fuel. So the cost is not cost effective. So the longer flight following the closure of Russian airspace. For China is okay because she can, but for Europe it's not okay, right? So, major airlines are cutting the service to China or maintain a very few. Yes, they are, but very few, maybe just twenty percent, right? Um, China still export. So after after the um U.S. election very soon, just after the um November five. Person election, then U.S. we impose. Um, if my memory serves me well, is about twenty five percent of the um of the steel tariff to China, or maybe after Donald Trump being the president, maybe one hundred percent. We don't know, right? So actually, China still exports expected to falter. Falter means bye bye, means bye bye. Very weak and then bye bye, right? And the main reason is now in China's. The demand is very weak, right? That's the main reason. Probably, um, you will notice the Chinese yen lower again, goes down again about one hundred and fifty something to U.S. dollar, right? Previously been one hundred and forty something, and then the lowest is one hundred and sixty something, right? Um, why then? There is no no why, right? Because um of the 
upcoming election, and then we know that in Japan is quite depends on the export, right? So the um, central bank JCB is maybe um, swifting between a pause and calm. That means cannot be too high, cannot be too low. So once before is 140 something, and then now it dropped back to 150 something, right? So I think it's normal. Right? Oh, for Tesla, must be the lucky day for Elon Musk, right? And after the quarter result, then is um the stock price go up by goes up by seven percent and then eleven percent and then now finally whoa twenty two percent for Tesla right must be his lucky day right and then the by the Fed said said the um coming year the um car delivery for Tesla may increase by fifteen percent but from Elon Musk then the vehicle growth will reach much more than that, 20% to 30%. So it triggered the stock price, right? We'll see then. For Microsoft Nadella, actually then what he now said yesterday is he asked for a pay reduction for himself, right? After the security slip, right? But actually his pay is for, his pay is, um how to say, it's sky high, right? It's very, very rich for him. We can see that, right? A pay rise for the for this year is more than for him is 30 million US dollar. 30 million US dollar, right, per year. And the package, if not for a series of cyber attacks, the, the um, package increment will be 5.5 billion US dollar for him. Right. That means a pay rise more than 30 million and the package would have 5.5 million higher if not. That means that 5.5 million dollars is not existing. And the Nutella received the 79.1 million for the fiscal year and the June end of June. Up from one year before forty eight point five billion US dollar, right? That is a sky figure. He is very very rich already, right? Um, there is um betting pool, right? A betting pool in right globally for US for not only for US, right? For a lot of um elections result. That is called the poly market, right? Taking the bet and then giving the money for the uh, pool, something like that, right? And the French trader bet over 20 million on um, Donald Trump for winning, right? Using four poly market account, right? That is a very big um, market account for accepting all the bet, right? Not only for US president, for the whole world, right? Okay, we go for Bowen. Um, actually, I don't think that Bowen will go bankrupt because, because a lot of U.S. military is by Bowen. It's by Bowen. So the government will not let her go for bankrupt. But the finance situation or the business situation of Bowen is very, very bad. In a very bad shape. So um, there is a summary on that first. Then there is a tentative agreement, but not accepted by the workers, not accepted. It just she offered for consecutive four years wage increment 35%. All right, not accepted by the workers. They asked for 79, right? They asked for 79, right? Now then Bowen will cut um, massive of labor power. Maybe then it's for, okay, I put up the, the wage, but I cut people, I cut the employees, right? Cut the workers. The first thing. Second thing, 
Boeing secure a 10 billion credit line. It's just a credit line, right? In case for she need it. 100% she will need it. And then this year, there is a 5 billion in cost overrun, right? You can count it as a loss, right? This is a cost overrun. And then finally, raise 25 billion full stock issuance. That means issue more stocks. Total 25 billion US dollar. So all, all, all those things is very bad for the shareholders. That is the breakdown of the cost overrun. All right. 77x 2.6 billion US dollar, 767 0 0.4 billion US dollar, T78 0.9, blah 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 blah, something like that. Add up to total 5 billion US dollar cost overrun. Cost overrun. We take a look on Boeing's stock price history. Forget about the tip, right? We count the highest price, highest stock price for Boeing few years before. It's about um, 340, something like that. And now, it's still less than half. You can see that the market cap is only 95 billion US dollar. 25 billion more stock issue means 25%. Um, that means the stock price will divide by um, 75%, right? 155. That means the stock price will quickly become 116. That is a disaster for the shareholders. But she has to do that. No PE ratio, no dividend. Because it's a loss. And for past five years, the stock price dropped at more than half dropped at 54% and even for the last year the stock price dropped about 12 12% I mean and this is the um, just announced the third quarter earning preview this is a disaster see that this is the um, um, summary revenue no problem, still keeping, just a little bit less. Operating margin become a very negative. Negative 32.3%, that means a loss, right? And the core loss per share, that means each share loss $10.44. Much, much more than one year before. Free cash flow, sorry, a negative. More negative. Divided by category, commercial airplanes, right? Operating margin, oh my goodness, you can see that one year before the same quarter dropped by 8.6%. This year dropped up by 54%. That means worse and even worse. What happened to Boeing, right? What happened? For defense, space, and security, that means the order may be from the U.S. government. The operating margin also lost. Also lost. May be delayed in delivering the pain, right? We don't know. But you can see that the operating margin more negative. You can see that the bad lot is 62 billion U.S. dollar, right? Cannot deliver the pain. The only one positive is for the global service, all right? Providing some technical advice, all right? Providing some um, information, something like that. Only one positive with an operating margin 17%, but the revenue is relatively very small compared to the whole one. And for the cash and debt, all right? You can see that 
the cash and marketing securities value dropped by two billion US dollar, but the debt is keeping nearly the same. For this debt, um, every year um, she has to pay back for the interest is three billion US dollar, three billion US dollar. So if everything like this, that cash and marketable security will go to zero after three years, right? You can see that no matter it's S and P, Modi or Fitch, right? You can see that the um, rating is just BBB, BBB minus, very bad for this kind of company already. Um, you can see a lot of wet cross in that worksheet, right? Loss from operation. 5.7 billion US dollar, right? And core operating loss, 5.9 billion US dollar. And there's a real loss because the diluted loss per each share is 9.97 US dollar per share, right? That means it's lost money already, right? One year before, it's only lost $2.7, $2.70. And this year, this quarter, lost 9.97 US dollar per share. Very, very bad. No need to say for the free cash flow, right? One year before, free cash flow is already negative. And this year, more negative, 1.9 billion US dollar. No money, right? That means no money, right? So no matter what, don't touch this company. Don't touch it. You can see that no PE, no dividend. The earnings per ratio is actually is a negative. Lost money already. Consider issue 25 billion US dollar more shares. That is um 25% total share of what in the market. So you divide this by um, five and then you will get you will get what you get is 116 US dollar per share right that's what it is so do you want to touch it I don't think so very disappointed for Bowen very disappointed I don't know what happened really I don't know what happened to Bowen right because now it's two years after the pandemic already technical issue not softed. A lot of technical issue not softed, right? And for uh, worker crisis all over Europe and US, not only his problem, but if we look at Airbus, still okay, right? Still okay for Airbus, right? But for Boeing, totally disappointed. If not the very special status of Boeing for the military and the defense for US, this is this time is very dangerous for her, right? But no matter what. Don't touch with this company, right? Okay, fans, guys, for watching and like, comment, share are uh, welcome. And then please subscribe and thank you for that. So um, today is um, Friday. I hope everyone have a very peaceful weekend. See you guys on next Friday. Bye-bye.